If you're a regular viewer here on Fox 9, you know we like to take this opportunity to learn a little something about the weather. That's right. We're getting some great questions from the kids. Yes. And uh, something we haven't had a whole lot of in the last, uh, it seems like month. It, it seems so calm, <laughs> but the wind. How does it come about, right? Uh, that's right. That's that's another age-old question. What causes wind? Let's get the question asked here from again from Pioneer Elementary. My name is Rachel, and I go to Pioneer Elementary. And my question is, how does the wind blow? Great question, Rachel. Thanks so much. And well, we're going to start with the whole general reason why storms are blowing wind back and forth and why wind is constantly moving across the country. So here's what's happening. Here's a map of the United States right down here. It's a three-dimensional look. Way up here in space, we have the jet stream. And if you don't know what the jet stream is, it's a river of air moving very rapidly, sometimes 100 to 200 miles per hour. And at times, the jet stream is converging on itself here. And at times, it's diverging right here and that's very important is what's happening at the ground because what's happening at the ground is coming from the wind aloft here when the air converges it has to go somewhere when you pile that air up so it's forced down as it's forced down because the earth is spinning instead of going straight down it starts to go down and spin like this in a clockwise fashion that's high pressure at the surface you're pushing air down to the surface here and so we have a, an abundance of air and high pressure well low pressure is an absence of air and so air rushes from high pressure to low pressure so it's going to go clockwise around high pressure and as it goes then around high pressure it then funnels into low pressure counterclockwise when it gets to the middle it's got to go somewhere else it can't go down so it goes up feeding in what's called divergence aloft. As you spread the air apart, we can't create what we call a vacuum, so you have to fill that air up, so everything works together right here. So you've got this, the sinking air, and then spinning into that low pressure system, and there's the rising air. And so you're getting air moving constantly, and so around high pressure, you got clockwise, around low pressure, you have counterclockwise. That's generally how wind forms all across the country. In some places, the wind can get squeezed through mountain gaps, and then accelerate downward and get strong crosswinds up to 60 miles per hour. So there's all different kinds of ways to get wind, but those are the general ways that the wind blows. Probably a lot more complicated than the answer she wanted. But <laughs> <laughs> she learned I a lot, though. Add, add and a so detail. did we. <laughs> That's it. Thanks, Scott. Coming up next on Fox 9.